the show is about uh, the, the two gang members, Fat Sam and uh, Danny Dan. The two gangs are pretty much against each other. One's more probably poor than the other gang and the other one's probably more rich and professional. It's about a new guy on the block, Bugsy. He's just trying to find his feet in New York and trying to work his way around the city. My try. character is Blousy Brown and I think her purpose is kind of the love interest to Bugsy Malone. A character that is kind of lost because of his background, uh, but his parents are both from different ethnicities and he kind of just wanders through the world trying to figure out what his purpose is, I guess. I'm KG Joe, so I, I own the boxing gym, Sunday's gym. I play Dandy Dan and I would be the gang leader of the winning game. My character is Tallulah, she's the performer in the speakeasy that all the girls want to be and all the guys want to have. I play Knuckles. Uh, he's Fat Sam's big oaf of a bodyguard. He's a pretty interesting character to play because he doesn't say a lot. So I play the character of Loretta, one of the five cabaret girls. And so I'm part of like Fat Sam's like girlies. So we just like sing and dance in the speakeasy. My character's name is Fizzy and he's a cleaner who just wants to be a dancer. I play the infamous Fat Sam. I'm in charge of the speakeasy. Um, a big man. Favorite scene would probably be the probably the laundry mat scene where the rest of Fat Sam's gang gets splurged. Definitely bad guys, just because it's funny watching all my friends be stupid. <laughs> but it's just fun to watch. I love putting my all into that song. It's just awesome to always perform it. I'm feeling fine. I really like that one. I think it's really clever how I don't know. I think it's different how the girl leads the duet and the boy doesn't because it's usually the male role that leads the duet and I think it's nice how me and Isaac like harmonise in it tomorrow because it's just, like really challenging but it's really elegant, really nice My favourite part is going to be dressing up I love dressing up, <laughs> it sounds so weird but I love putting on the costumes My favourite part of production so far I think would be camp and making a heap of new friends going there, seeing everyone like grow as a family, as a team it's definitely like highlight of bonding time just getting to know all the cast better and you know all the fun that comes with it, the So You Think Your Life's a Musical and all that. Bit generic, but meeting all the people, it is excellent to meet all these new up and coming kids that are coming through. My favourite part of the process actually has to be getting used to my character, I guess. In the beginning, you're kind of very like, oh, I don't really feel like the character, or the way I'm interacting, the way I'm acting is not very good. And the process of seeing the transformation is quite good. And my favourite part of the whole process is definitely learning the dances and doing all the stuff leading up to it and just watching it all come together. It's just one of the best experiences you'll ever have. It's just amazing getting to know all the people, getting to experience all these, like the madness of it really, but it's worth it. It's just one of the best things I've ever chosen to do. You're not going to get a chance to do it like all the time, so you just take it and do it. Totally worth it. Like being on stage, getting the good vibes from performing. Yeah, you know, it's my third one. I wouldn't change it for the world. I love it. You'll be around a lot of good people, interacting with uh, it's probably the best teachers in my high school career, I guess. And the show that you'll be putting on is well worth it in the end. Definitely just put yourself out there and be the best you can be and at the audition. I know I was very nervous when I first did it, but. I'm glad I put myself out there, so. I waited way too long and this is my last one and wish I could do it again. I'd like to thank all the teachers because without them we wouldn't have our play, especially Miss Hallett. Thank you for all this, everything you do. There is, you do so much because I can't appreciate it enough. Thank you for like everything that have they've done for us for the past three years. Because like we couldn't, we literally could not have done it without them. Thank you for the opportunity to give us all this and it's just incredible. Towers put so much time and dedication into everything that she does for the planning and in rehearsals and outside of rehearsals. It pretty much takes over her entire life. I don't think I can put into words what to say to them, but thank you mostly and yeah, thank you.